I mean, this is my first time, but three-year-old Caden Garcia and his family are incredible, and he's been battle in the middle of a battle with leukemia, and it's far from over, but his doctors at UMC hope he'll be off treatment by his sixth birthday. <laughs> Today, Caden Garcia faces off against his dad, Gabriel, in a water gun shootout. It's one of the few times he's been able to live like a normal three-year-old boy. He was fine. Normal, still through all his checkups up until his two-year checkup. Caden's doctor looked for lead exposure and anemia. Anemia levels were abnormal. And further testing revealed an unexpected discovery. Caden has acute lymphoblastic leukemia. All I could do was just give him the biggest hug I could ever um, and just hold him. Um, it was frightening. All you hear is cancer and you automatically think the worst and how can it be how can it be my kid doctors at the children's hospital at umc caught the condition at the right time the disease can be fatal in just weeks if left untreated Caden began treatment with dr al khalil a man with 30 years of experience he gave us his cell phone number tells us he need to call at 3 a.m and it's a snowstorm on Christmas Eve. Wow. If you're concerned, I'm concerned. After the diagnosis, the Garcia's world was turned upside down. Because ALL weakens the body's immune system, Caden wasn't able to have play dates with other kids his age. He also had to be pulled from his preschool program. Now he's learning numbers from the hospital elevator. Now he's learning colors by which chemo is which color. Even his father has to take extra caution when he gets home from work. You know, he always wants to see your kid doing a big hug. I'm like, hold on, you gotta wait. You gotta wash your hands, gotta change your clothes. Between checkups and treatments, the cancer center at UMC became a second home. Is it itchy? Joe and Dr. All are both pretty much part of the family now. I mean, we've been seeing them every single week for nine months now. Pills, chemo, steroids, you name it, he's, he's had it. He takes between one and ten pills every day, depending on the treatment plan. A port was put in his chest so he could receive the chemotherapy through an IV. Reaction from the drugs caused Caden to gain 10 pounds. With his immune system still weak, Caden developed pneumonia just before his third Thanksgiving. He was in the hospital for nearly a month. And so was Dr. Al. He stayed in the hospital for 25 days, and that sealed the deal that we're at the right hospital. We're at the right place. Caden will undergo treatment for three and a half years, but doctors say his future looks bright. He responded very well to treatment. <laughs> We're watching him like a hawk. <laughs> now, Caden is stronger. His parents hope to have him back in preschool with other kids within a few months. It's another giant step in this little one's road to recovery. That's my hope, that he can just be normal. And with um, other there kids in school, I think that just letting them know what it is and that it's not scary, it's not contagious. You can just try to give him as much of a normal life as you can. I mean, he's still a three-year-old that likes to see Buzz Lightyear and likes to go play outside and, you know, um, we're fortunate. And we've been working with uh, Caden for about a month now. We've been trying to get him to give me a high five, but uh, he's been kind of shy. Do you think he can give me one now? Yeah? The high five on the microphone? Well, that works, too. Yeah? Thanks, Caden. High five on the hand, right? Uh, or you can take the mic from him and do that, too. And, thanks. <laughs> and when we went to the doctors, like you said, I mean, this was something that you did never expect to see at that two-year checkup. I mean, can you talk to me about how y'all were able to you know, find out about this diagnosis? It was just basically going in there for a, a two-year-old checkup, and they did a um, testing for um, that they sent out to Austin. Uh, for the yeah. <laughs> it was showing that he had an iron deficiency. Talk to me about how, uh, how you came up with the, with the Caden monster. Um, 
<laughs> well, you can see right here. <laughs> this is this is him, and we call him Monster just because he likes getting everything. He likes to he likes to be fun. <laughs> that's a good thing, though, isn't it? I mean, being active the way he is now—that's what you want in a three-year-old. And and for a while there, it was scary. Michelle, let me ask you. Uh, to clarify, a lot of parents may think, you know, my two-year-old at, at their two-year checkup didn't have blood work done. This was a very unusual situation that's not normally done at two years old, and it was just by chance. Why don't you explain this, Michelle, that this pediatrician here said, let's check his blood. Yeah, it was just by chance the doctor he sees happens to take, uh, collect data for blood exposure and anemia for the state of Texas, and... Um, just in the right place at the right time and at the right doctor apparently because had he been at a different doctor where that's not part of the routine he would have got really really sick before we would have known anything was wrong right. and then for it to turn out that he's anemic and further test to show that it was leukemia is just must be such an incredible shock to you and this little boy who has seemed otherwise perfectly healthy yeah he was like this one day and the next day literally overnight he's in the hospital and hooked up to ivs and starting chemo like three days after that so what do you think of this hospital now after being being here and i guess he'll be an ongoing patient for a while while he fights the chemo um we know we're in the right place we knew that as soon as we met dr al we knew that as soon as we walked onto the floor actually so <laughs> you're in the right place but he's not right now because he wants out of here right michael that's why we gave you caden because we knew that you would be uh You'd like the cave monster. <laughs> so welcome to see you there, Michael. With that water pistol, we got some pretty wet that day, and I, we made a new camera lens. So All right. Be okay. But we're, he, he, we're glad he's part of the Seaman family, and y'all too. Thank you so much for being here to share your story. Evan.